C'è lo Baia. The ambassador of Italy in India and Nepal in Scienza de Luca. Melody, the meme is all over the internet. They ask me when your prime minister come back here. <laughs> What is one Hindi word that you use a lot? Daniavat, filmi lenghe. I actually love taking the tuk-tuk. So it's, it's really one beautiful. of the most exciting experiences to travel in the city in India. This is a small dosa. <laughs> Amita Bachcha, Buje, Nimbupani, Bod Pazan, eh. Hey everyone, Julia here. Today is a really special day because we have the pleasure to have the ambassador of Italy in India and Nepal, Vincenzo De Luca. Vincenzo, it's nice seeing you. My pleasure. <laughs> Today we're gonna go around Delhi and have street food and I'm gonna ask him some questions because four and a half years of mandate are coming to an end. Let's go and have chai. Yeah. Because what is a morning without starting with chai? Let's Absolutely. go. Because it's gonna be about street food. First question, Ambassador, your favorite street food in India? Samosa, definitely. <laughs> He actually asked me, like, are we not gonna get samosa? So we sorted that out, but yeah, samosa. Like everyone, when you have a chai, you chit chat, you ask fun questions. So what is your favorite Bollywood star? I would say Amitabh Bachcha. It's an oh, historical wow. star from Bollywood. But I like also the ancient Indian movie director that is Satya Jatrai wow. from Kolkata. And I like also Mira Nair and the last production of Slot of Billionaire, whose script was made by the former Indian diplomat Vikas Varup that is a very good friend of mine. Oh wow! And what is one Hindi word that you use a lot throughout your daily life here in India? Danyavad. Danyavad. <laughs> and what do you think is one dish in India that resembles a dish in Italy? When I have street food in India, I remember when I was in Italy. Pane panelle, pizza, pizza fritta, croquet, arancini, all fried. <laughs> yes, right all fried. Samosa <laughs> is fried, pane panelle is fried, That's true. pizza is fried, That's in Naples at least. True. It's time to try another street food, actually the favorite of the ambassador. We decided to take the tuk-tuk because why not? We are here in Delhi. Let's take it. So let's go. Cello Baya. I actually personally love taking the tuk-tuk because there is like a nice breeze coming. Exactly. <laughs> so it's it's really one beautiful. of the most exciting experiences when you have to travel in the city in India. Of course, exactly. in the city. And in the meantime, we're going to ask the ambassador some questions because you might not know that the tuk-tuk has some relationship with Italy. Yes, okay, we have some Italian tuk-tuk. The Piaggio electric tuk-tuk. Piaggio produced here in India. Make in India by Italy. And they are based out of Pune, right? In Pune, Maharashtra. Pune. What is like one story that has connected you so much here in India and Nepal? There was a great, great challenge when we experienced COVID in India and Nepal. Mm. And at that occasion, we experienced great solidarity. And we experienced also a great level of collaboration at the level of two Ministry of Health, also launching some research project to prevent the pandemic. Yeah, so it exactly. was an experience of friendship, of very close collaboration, and I cannot forget that period. Yeah, of yeah. course. So we are heading to get a samosa for the ambassador. That's his favorite street food, so we should totally get It's it. It's definitely my favorite street food. So how are you gonna do it? With potato, <laughs> green tea, uh, fried of course, yeah. and uh, some spice. Yes. Because so without is... spice there is no Indian food. And there is also no life, right? And no life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Daniavat, filmi lenghe. Daniavat, so we are at the Tamil Nadu yes. house. We're gonna make the ambassador order in India. Dosa or somosa or nimbupani. This is your favorite street food, so I really want you to try it and tell us what you think. Best way to start a morning here in Delhi. <laughs> and it has this like little kick of spice at the end. Exactly. What is your experience with spicy food here? I like a lot of spicy food. When the food is well prepared, you can at the same time taste the spice and taste the ingredient. This is the case for samosa. Oh, wow. This is what, one meter? This is a small dosa. <laughs> For starting a very light breakfast or continue the breakfast, you see here in India we eat not so much, just a small dosa after a very good samosa. I think this is one of the commonalities that we have, right? Exactly. When you go to a family lunch or like a family dinner in Italy, there is no way you can leave the table without having a full stomach, like a full tummy, right? Absolutely. And that's the same here, like I think food, equally in Italy and in India, food is love. So the more they love you, the more food. They 
because we are both generous people. That's we want true. to share food. In Naples, we have a big pizza called uh, Ruota di Carretto that is oh. char wheel that to go beyond this, like this dosa. So let's try the dosa. It's at the same time crispy, but also soft. Yes, Very good. exactly. With this. Yes. Buonissima, buonissima. Buonissima. Italy and India have one thing in common. Those are like hand gestures. What would be one hand gesture from Italy that you would like to show the audience that is watching this video that you think they should learn? In southern Italy, when you do like that, means what do you want? <laughs> But in the Arab world, this same gesture means, please, wait. And in India, we know that uh, when you do like that, it's okay. Yes. But if you do like that in Italy, means maybe no. <laughs> That's actually true. What are other commonalities that the two cultures have? Because, you know, I'm married to Shrey, who is behind the camera, and a lot of people ask me, have you had any cultural shock or any cultural surprises? And I always say no. I have a feeling that the two countries are so similar culturally. But what is there is a high degree of empathy, natural empathy in India and in Italy. The important role of family in the organization, but also another important communality between Italy and India is creativity, because we are too creative. People. If you see the creativity of the ancient India and the creativity of the Roman period, today fashion and design in India and in Italy are outstanding and very well known all over the world. And linked with the creativity, there is a sense of entrepreneurship. Because in Italy we have 4,500,000 enterprises. That means one enterprise out of 11 Italians. And in India also we have millions of companies, startup. This is another similarity in the economic community community between Italy and India. Yeah. So food, culture, enterprise, family, innovation, creativity. This is the best drink in India. Oh. Nimbu Pani. Wow. Nimbu means lemon, Pani means water. As simple as that. Mujer, Nimbu Pani, Bot, Pasan, He. I think what maybe people also do not know here in India is that we do use chilies too, specifically the chilies from Calabria. Chilies from Calabria that is spicy and is very good. And we do chili oil, so sometimes we put the chili oil on top of the pasta or, or the, the pizza. pizza. Exactly, exactly. So that's another thing that we have in common. Wow, this is art. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Namaste, namaste. Who is preparing dosa? Really good dosa. Top, top dosa. Congratulations. Dania Vad, everybody. Good job, thank you. Dosa, bota cha. Ambassador, this is a really hot moment and the bond between the two countries, Italy and India, is becoming stronger and stronger. What is your view on this and what do you think the future looks like? You are right. We are now reached the top level of our relation between Italy and India. We launched the so-called strategic partnership last year with two summits between Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Meloni here in Delhi. And also we assign a lot of agreement in terms of defense, space, mobility. Mobility is very important yes. because now we'll have more and more students and workers from India to Italy. Italy, we did sign the first mobility agreement all over the world. Wow. This is the importance of this relationship. So, Melody, the meme is all over the internet. <laughs> Whenever I go in India, they ask me when you're Prime Minister, come back here. <laughs> Because there was a two very successful meeting last year in March and in September. And on the social media, there was a hashtag Melody, Meloni plus Modi. Yes, <laughs> I think it was, exactly, exactly. Extreme popularity. So we are really waiting for Georgia to come back again. The Play tradition that I think could become very popular in India is Cafe Sospeso. In Naples, you go to a bar, many people do this. They pay their own coffee and they pay another coffee for whoever come after. No matter young, old, rich, poor, cafe sospeso. Coffee is paid by me for the next client. Hello, good morning. One coffee and un cafe sospeso. One coffee for the next client. Thank you. Thank you. After four and a half years, what is one bond memory that you have? India enters my heart. In terms of human relation, friendship, in terms of cultural experience, in terms of diversity, in terms of food, in terms of diversity of landscape all over India, from the mountain Himalaya up to Kerala and the tropical states in the southern India. What is one thing that you're going to miss about India? I miss this humanity. I miss this capacity and this attitude from the Indian side 
as well as from the Italian side, because in this we are quite similar. To become friends, to attach great importance to the human dimension, the relations with people and friends, and all the experience we have always had very great hospitality all over India. It's time to end our video, Ambassador. Unfortunately. Yes, it was a pleasure to have you. What would be one thing you would like to take with you and how would you like to close this video? Since my departure will be the coming months, I can tell you that I will keep so many friends here Aww. in India forever and I will come back here and I will hope to receive in Italy my friends from India. Yes, absolutely. I'm pretty sure that India will always have a great memory of you and they will always be happy to welcome you back. Thanks again for Dania your time. Dania Vad. Grazie mille. Hope you Grazie. like this video. As always, click the like button, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.